O fur optime balnearium, ui benni pater et cinaide fili, non dextra pater inquinatiore, culo filius est voraciore, cur non exilium malasquin oras iti, quando quidem patris rapinae notae sunt populu et natis pilosas fili, non potes asse venditare. It seems that Vibenius and his son were notorious for their activities at the public baths. I suspect that they had probably pilfered one of Catullus's favorite bath towels. Instead of translating the poem, I'm going to supply vocabulary and grammar notes so you can hopefully understand it without a translation. Uh, please feel free to ask questions in the comments for the video if you have any questions or need some help. Um, first, I'm going to share a few comments on pronunciation and meter. So, first of all, um, the first line, forum, forum optime, that's got to be elided, but I would recommend blending the, the nasalized U and the O, so I would say, o fur optime. O fur optime, uh, pronouncing the U sort of as a consonant. Um, some people would totally elide the U-M and say, O fur optime. That's fine too, if you prefer. Um, the M at the end, I would not pronounce. Balneariorum. You would nasalize the, the U, balneariorum, and not pronounce the M. Then we have a double N, we benni. Uh, the M before a D would be pronounced like an N, so it'd be non dextra, and then the R is trilled dextra. Um, then you have inquinatiore. The N would be pronounced more like an NG sound, inquinatiore. Cur non, because of the N after the R, it would be trilled a bit. Cur non, exilium malasque. The M, because it's followed by another M, would be pronounced exilium mal malasquinoris. And the E in que would be totally elided. Malasquinoris. Then, quando quidem patris, the M before a P would be pronounced. Uh, notai. Notai sunt populet. The O and E need to be elided or blended. So I would, I would pronounce it, the O sort of as a soft play as a consonant. Populet. Uh, notai sunt populet natis pilosas. Um, some people would would drop the E and say populet, populet. I prefer populet, populet. And then uh, asse, the double S, you would stress asse when ditare. The meter for this poem are fellation hendecasyllables. A hendecasyllable, as you know, is... Uh, line of 11 syllables. And here in the first foot, there's flexibility. It can be uh, long, short, long, long, or short, long. Um, and then long, short, short, a dactyl. Long, short, long, short, long, long, or long, short. So it goes something like dum, 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 da, da, dum. Did dum, did dum, dum, sort of like that. I'm going to read the poem, emphasizing the meter a bit, just so you get 
uh, a feel for the meter. I don't, I don't normally read it pronouncing the meter or emphasizing the meter so much, but I'm going to do that just so you get a feel for it. O fur optime balne yari orum, we benni pater et kinaide fili, non dextra pater inquinati ore, cullo filius es voraci ore, Cor non exilium malasquin oras, itis quando quidem patris rapinae, notae sunt populuet natis pilosas fili, non potes asse venditare. 